Tomorrow night, two great programs, um, two great coaches. They take center stage. But tonight, they're taking center stage right here in the Warner Championship uh, Coaches Chat. So, everybody, give it up. If you would welcome Roy Williams and Jay Wright. Look at this, watch this. this. This right here is Hollywood. Ready? Da, 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 da. That's Hollywood right there. Now, if it was me, it would slide out and uh, Dennis Rodman would be on it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how you guys doing? Good, man. We're both still here. Yeah. And it was funny, <laughs> yesterday I was watching y'all, you know, it was like y'all both playing it cool, like whatever. Roy, man, I was like, don't pop a blood vessel, man. I need you tomorrow night. <laughs> well, oh, Coach. I got a knee brace on right now, so I have to be a little careful anyway. <laughs> well, this is a great, this Warner ladder, I just bought one myself. <laughs> I'm taking it on the train, on the plane with me. Cause, um, but if you get to climb it, what, what does it feel like? It is a little more difficult. I had two knee surgeries and I wear the brace, so I have to be a little careful. So I appreciate you saying it's not rickety or anything. Yeah. but. As a coach, I dreamed of being like my high school coach. And being a college coach and going up that ladder and cutting down the nets in the national championship, uh, it's indescribable. If it were the TV commercial, it would be priceless. It would mean a lot of sweat and uh, a lot of screaming and kicking and cajoling and trying to encourage uh, really meant something. And yet, you should also feel some uh, great feelings for that guy on the other end because everybody should feel great about being here and yet people just remember who actually cut down the net, but uh, it'd be a wonderful experience, no question. Oh, that's great. Uh, Jay, uh, you've never climbed that ladder at, at a national championship, so Roly Massimino won't be in your face. You didn't do it, son. <laughs> um, what would it be like for you to climb that ladder tomorrow? It, it would be awesome. Uh, I think uh, all of us here, um, I'm usually out there. Yeah. Usually I come to the Final Four, I'm out there. And uh, all of us dream about that, you know. There's only a few guys <laughs> get to do it a number of times. And um, it, it, would be, it would really mean that our guys uh, accomplished uh, the ultimate goal, you know. And that, that relationship and the bond you have uh, with your guys, you, you feel so good for them that, that they accomplished that. That's, that's really what it is. I would, I would be so proud of them. Uh, I, that's what I would be uh, thinking about if I ever got to climb that beautiful ladder. Yeah. All right, um, a full room of coaches. I want you to give me the best piece of advice uh, you received and how it will manifest in tomorrow's game, starting with you, Coach. Wow. Advice and that we've been given that would help in tomorrow's game? Yeah, like it was given to you was the best bit of advice that you know tomorrow is going to help you. Yeah. Uh, probably stick to your core values. You know, when... Uh, no matter how big the stakes get, no matter how um, how much how many distractions there are around you, make sure you use your your effort to stick to your core values. Be who you are as a team. Be who you are as a player. Mm. What about you, Coach? Basically the same thing. And before I even say that, I looked at and I saw Tony Bennett sitting there. Nobody in college basketball, Tony's had a greater year than you have the last three years. We're very f lucky. We're very fortunate. You keep knocking on the door and it's going to be knocked down, but nobody's had a better three years than you have. Uh, and you should clap for that because he's had a heck of a team. Okay. I'm like Jay. Coach Smith told me the night I was leaving the next day to go become the head coach at Kansas, said, uh, uh, do what you do, be yourself. Don't ever change and try to be somebody who you are not because you're really good or you wouldn't have done the job you've done for us the last 10 years and you wouldn't be the coach at Kansas. And uh, our players, they know when you're phony. I mean, so you just have to be yourself and hope that our ball goes in the basket a little bit more on our end than it does on their end. Oh, okay. Uh, Jay, in 2009, the last time you guys were in the Final Four, um, the Tar Heels eliminated, eliminated you and sent you home with a 14 point loss. And one of the things you apologized to your team after the game um, about that loss, you apologized to them. Since then, how has that loss shaped your career to get to this point here? Well, I think that loss um, taught us more about 
playing in the Final Four. That was our first Final Four, and I, I talked to a lot of great coaches. Uh, I would have talked to him, but he, I was playing against him. But I, I, I talked to Mike Krzyzewski and Bill Self, um, Jim Calhoun, and they gave me a lot of great advice about what you should do when you get to the Final Four. And everything they told me was correct and helpful. But when we got there, there were a lot of other things that I didn't prepare our team for. We, he and I were just talking about this today. We stepped out on that court against Carolina that year, and uh, they had, they had uh, Green, Hansborough, um, Wayne Ellington, Tyler. Roy, you remember those people? <laughs> we had a better team. <laughs> I mean, we That's really true. did. And I'm a, Jay, he could have done anything in the world. Tyler Hansborough, he didn't care if you were playing, John. He was going to beat your rear end that day, so it made no difference. <laughs> that is so true. So, excuse me. We were five minutes into that game, and I said, we're here to play basketball. Those guys are here to win a championship. They were on another level. They were, their mindset was a whole nother level. And um, so I, I just took from that that we, we've got to handle all the distractions a little differently. If we would ever get back again, I promise myself, and it's a big if when you're in coaching, that we're going to do it a little bit different. I think we've done a much better job this time of handling the distractions. I'm loving that you're wearing almost Carolina blue just to throw them <laughs> off. I'm loving that you're trying to plan, throw them John. off. John, we, Roy and I have done so many – this is true. We've done so many media events together. The last one we did this afternoon, he actually said to me, what are you going to wear tonight? And I said, <laughs> I said, I don't know. He goes, I suggest your Carolina blue suit. And so I said, okay. No, honestly, we have. Have we not? And he actually asked me, what, what are you going to wear? I said, I, I just got, I got a Carolina blue. That's what I got, man. I got to wear it. I'm so happy because that yellow pinstripe thing you had in the back <laughs> just didn't go. Uh, Coach, UN, uh, UNC and Villanova have significantly uh, tournament history. And um, what have you learned about Coach Wright that you're going to use tomorrow in your favor? Well, first of all, and I said this this morning, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, if my son were a player, I'd like him to play for Jay Wright because I think he is the kind of person that we would all want our sons to play for. Now, if we're recruiting the same guy, I'm not going to tell him that, okay? <laughs> I, I've heard that. I've heard <laughs> so that. Don't act. get that on tape. Man. I know that. But when you watch Jay's Tony, team play. Tony, have you heard that too? <laughs> You've been in that. I know. Tony has. I haven't told many people that now. But it's the kind of thing where when I watch them play, I see five basketball players. I don't see a point guard and a power forward and a swing. And I see five guys who know how to play the game of basketball together. When the ball moves and they're on defense, five players move. That always scares me as a coach when I watch that tape. And offensively, all five of those guys can score. And I see a basketball team that's very hungry. If they shoot 71% against us like they did last night, they're going to beat our rear ends too. Mm. All right. Now, this is the last question. So I need you guys to come up with uh, maybe three things apiece. What does your team have to do to climb that ladder tomorrow night, Coach Roy Williams? Rebound the ball in a great manner. Cut down their second shots and get a lot of second shots because we have supposedly a size advantage. So we've got to score a lot of points on the board. Don't turn it over. Uh, I should say shot fake, stay down because every one of Jay's guys <laughs> will be. You see all their guys flying in the air tomorrow. That's a, a Jay's guy's shot fake. But uh, rebound the heck out of it. Don't turn it over. And hopefully we'll make one or two three-pointers in addition to getting some baskets inside and have good balance. All right, Coach Jay Wright? Uh, basically the same thing. I mean, we, we've got to be able to deal with their, their size um, up front. Um, I think sometimes we, we got to deal with their size up front. That means we've got to rebound the ball and we've got to not allow them to dominate inside. But their guards are very underrated. They, they shoot a high percentage and they pass the ball extremely well. We've got to – not put too much pressure on the bigs, be able to handle their guards. And then when you play their teams, if you don't get back on defense, it's going to be a dunk show. And uh, we, we don't need a dunk show tomorrow night. We, don't need, we need a good game, I know. but we don't need a dunk show. You would like that. I, I wouldn't know. like that. I am so looking forward to this game tomorrow. <laughs> Coaches, uh, on behalf of Warner's ladder, whoever wins, one of the teams is going to be wearing blue. Everybody, Coach Roy Williams and Jay Thank Roy. you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.